Women have claimed oppression in many areas of life. Equality is a stated aim of feminism and is frequently pushed as an ideal by government. But what does equality mean? And do women really want to be treated the same as men? Looking into what's been happening in our society, I don't believe that women want equality now, or indeed ever have. The behaviour of women clearly shows that what women actually want is equality when it suits them and preferential treatment the rest of the time. The whole driving force for seeking equality rests on the accepted belief that we live in a male-dominated society. This is also termed patriarchy. That is exactly the kind of arrogant, stereotypical male thinking that led to the oppression of gay women, you know, as a matter of fact, all women. And then, pff, we laid the patriarchy on them. In this patriarchy, everything is run by men, for the good of men, and to the detriment of women. On the face of it, it would seem that women may have a point. Most of Parliament and the judiciary are men. Most of the powerful jobs are held by men. Women didn't have equal property rights before 1893. They couldn't vote until 1918. Women used to be prevented from going to university. Women were often stuck in unwanted marriages. Surely we've always lived in a patriarchy. But does run by men mean run for men? Although there are men in Parliament, there's also women. But those men in the main, and as indeed most men do, they are just there to enact policies, laws, or whatever it is, irrespective of, of being a man, if you see what I mean. So that this fallacy that because it's a so-called male-dominated society that somehow men will only ever do things to benefit men is absolute tosh. It's an established fact in psychology that both men and women are happiest with men in authority. Men want to be led by men, and women want to be led by men. What feminists chose to call patriarchy was nothing more than a division of labour between men and women, which was, until the 1960s, essential and natural. A culture did emerge from that division, in which men were widely believed to be superior, and in which women were defined by law and custom as the burdens of men. The key term here, however, is burden. There were few, if any, tangible benefits to men by this arrangement. The spurious idea of superiority by virtue of sex was unfortunate, because men and women were never meant to be in competition with each other. Women are not the opposite sex, they're the complementary sex. What this apparent superiority brought men was a duty to fight duels to the death over a woman's honour. The legal responsibility to be punished for any crime committed by his wife, for example debtor's prison, the right to go down with a ship while women were rescued, and the right to military conscription whilst women stayed safe at home. It's strange how patriarchal privilege has far more restricted men's freedoms in life than women's. But women chose not to see this reality, and instead saw men as being free, with no obligations and no one to tell them what to do, the same way that children see their parents. Women chose to ignore the near complete lack of choices open to men in all periods of history, chose not to notice the conscripted men coming back from war, and instead chose to focus on issues more important to them. The entirely selfish attitude of women, so clearly displayed during the First World War, continues to this day. Despite what we're repeatedly told, we do not live in a male-dominated society. The way I believe we were, we've been built by nature is that men are the doers in terms of the world outside of the, the immediate home, certainly, outside of the nest. The men are the doers of things outside of the nest. And women um, are have basically taken responsibility for the nest, but they are also the, the manipulators and the energizers of the men out there. So I see women very much in control. They certainly are in charge of the upbringing of the children. They certainly are the ones who indoctrinate them with their views. She tried to lecture us on patriarchy and, and all that guff, and I said, there's no such thing as patriarchy in the West. I said, you know that. In fact, it's a matriarchy. She, oh, she was talking all 70s speak, you know, how women were oppressed economically, sexually, socially, and. Uh, I thought you were going to make me cry in a minute, you know what I mean? I said, I don't meet any woman these days, especially young women, that is repressed. I said, and when I speak to all the journalists that I speak to, and I do speak to an awful lot of young women, I say, do you feel repressed sort of sexually, economically, socially? They just laugh. You know, it's a joke. The only things that men dominate in Western society are the figures for heart attacks, homelessness, workplace deaths, and suicides. Like so many of the slogans invented by feminism, the term male-dominated is a myth and always has been. It hasn't been a case of, you know, 
for how many thousands of years that we've been on the earth in the last 70 years women have suddenly got power <laughs> that's absurd it's gone around in cycles where societies have evolved women have had, had lots of power then they've had few power and then they've had more power and then it's gone to low power and then they've had uh, the same with men it's it's, it's not it's, it's not starting from point zero moving to point kind of 100 over here do you think that we live in a male dominated society um, we do, but we also live in a society in which um, males are dominated. Of course, if you look around, men have all the, all the best jobs. Um, they're, they're, the, they're the presidents of countries and the CEOs and, and the high flyers. And when people talk about male-female equality, what, the, what they mean is um, women should be equal with those men at the top. But it's not a particularly representative sample of um, how all men fare in life. Yes, men are at the top, but men are also um, at the bottom. They have all the. Uh, they, they tend to, to die, die earlier. They die of all known um, causes of death at a faster rate um, than women. They have all the crappiest jobs. They the the rate of 95% um, of workplace fatalities um, are male. So they have the the riskiest, most unpleasant jobs. The um, the bin men, the loggers, the construction workers. Um, so there's a lot of men at the at the bottom too. And so you you get men at the bottom, men at the top, and kind of women in the middle. Uh, and when people talk about male domination, they forget that the, the, the winners, the male winners, are, are not just, uh, quotes, dominating the women, they're also dominating the, other, the others too.